In this episode of the King Snow What's Good product review, we are looking at the 2023 Burton Step-On System. For this review, we tested the Photon Step-On Boot and the Genesis Step-On Binding. The Photon Boot features an Imprint 3 liner with dry ride heat cycle lining, a focus cuff, lightweight power panels, and Aegis antimicrobial coating. The boot also features dual zone BOA system with TX3 laces, a level 2 molded EVA footbed, and the Step 1 EST outsole. Burton rates the Photon a 7 out of 10 flex, but with total comfort construction, the boots will feel broken in and ready to ride right out of the box. The Genesis Step 1 binding is compatible with all current mounting systems and hole patterns. It features a 30% short glass and nylon composite base plate in the high back with a reflex full bed cushioning system under the foot, which maximizes comfort and minimizes fatigue. Flad allows for tool-free and micro-adjustable forward lean, and the kickback hammock offers increased response and reduced vibration. Here's what our tester had to say about the 2023 Burton Step-On System. My name's Chris. I've been riding for 20 plus years. I'm coach for Canada Snowboard with the national team. I generally like to ride pretty much the whole mountain, but love riding pow. And when the stars align, I like to ride the park. My first impressions of the Burton Step-On, super, super light, was kind of my first thoughts on, on the binding. And then setting it up on the board, I mean, it's, it's very similar to any other binding. Uh, I ride a Burton board with the EST system, so it's just two screws in the middle and, and actually super simple to set up and finding your angles and everything like that. Pretty much out of the box was ready to ride. Nothing too crazy in terms of changing things up or adapting or anything like that. Forward lean was mellow. Everything uh, was just like pretty much just riding like a normal strap binding. Just getting in uh, is super simple. Uh, after using it for a little bit, I found getting your toe in first and then stepping your heel down is probably the easiest way to get in. In terms of responsiveness, it feels just like a normal binding. Uh, it's going from your toe edge to heel edge, heel edge to toe edge, super simple, super quick. When you're looking down in the binding, you don't see the straps. So mentally, you, think, you feel like there's a possibility of coming out. After riding it this season and in all different types and conditions, I'm very confident in the binding and not popping out. One thing I was worried about was snow packing in there and you wouldn't be able to click down. I actually have never run into that issue riding in, in deeper snow. Getting off the chair, you're riding out, you can just click in and keep rolling. Like There's literally no stopping. Especially on a pow day when you're trying to get to like a zone as fast as you can, it's actually super helpful. It ends up being way faster. Really good for coaching or anybody uh, teaching on the hill. I think that's a huge advantage. I've been curious about the binding for the last couple seasons uh, and had the opportunity to ride them this year and I definitely am stoked on the outcome. And So I'd say if, if anybody's curious about getting the bindings, yeah, for sure, pick them up. I think, uh, I think you'll be really happy with them.